What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and here we are at the cusp of a new year and a new decade. 2019 has been interesting. 2019 has been the start of financial stability. And this financial stability will continue on in 2020. Thank the Lord. Because the end of 2018 was rough. But I'm going to get to that in a second. When it comes to 2019, I haven't set goals since I was on Twitch, number-wise. And I only ever did it for fun. But since then, I've tried my best to not worry about the numbers. To just do it and then watch the numbers rise. But you know, I felt one day, you know what, maybe I, maybe I should make a goal. Maybe I should challenge myself. See how well I can really do with something in front of me to look towards. And come, I think it was September or October, I had pretty much at that point decided, okay, maybe I won't get it. Because I was at 343 subscribers at that time. The goal was 500. That changed within a month. And it still blows me away. How one video can do so much for your channel. It is amazing. And even though, you know, YouTube just recently went through and wiped out a whole bunch of, you know, dead accounts or whatever, even though the numbers look this way, one way, like looking on it on the desktop, and this way in the YouTube studio app, I don't know what YouTube is doing, but it's the end of the year, so I'm guessing they're getting their stuff together and getting it prepared for 2020. I don't know. We can only hope for the best. But the whole point is the fact that we did it. I mean, it's a goal. It's a number. But it means something to me, you know? Because that shows me that even if I set a goal that looks impossible... It can be done. All I got to do is make the content and be the best I can be. And that's what I plan on doing. I never make New Year's resolutions. I never really have. But you know, I figured I should now. Because I have a couple of things that I want to try to do better. One of them is YouTube, maybe, you know, get a better microphone, not have as much of a cluttered desk. The room I'm in will actually be converted into a game room slash man cave kind of thing. So I'm going to try to get a bigger desk. I'm going to try to, you know, get stuff in here moved around. And if I can manage to make it look all nice, I can show it off. You know, just a little a little project, something f to say that I actually have. And, you know, get better about making content, maybe, you know, edit a little better. Because I usually don't edit all that much, but I've been trying to add in some hilarity, some, you know, little funny memes here and there. I've been working on it, but it still doesn't seem like it's making a humongous difference. So, I will look towards doing a little different, but I definitely want to make sure that the quality is top-notch. Another New Year's resolution is to work on losing weight. You know, I had started a diet, and of course I started it at the cusp of the holidays, and, you know, there was some turkey here, there was some pie there, there was some ham here... And there was a lot of chocolate there, and it just kind of fell apart. <laughs> but 2020, I'm going to make a difference, though. And I will actually, you know, 
weigh myself. But depending on how much I weigh, I may not talk about it until after I've already made progress. But just know, I'm working on it. Another thing that I'm doing, and this is probably the more important resolution, is something that I implore all of you to look within your own lives, scope out your own lives, and see if this can't be done for you as well. There have been so many times where I've tried to be the friend to somebody, a friend to somebody, talk to them, stay in contact with them, etc., etc., and I get left on read. I know we all know how that feels. When you want to talk to somebody and they see the message, but they don't respond. Now, don't get me wrong. We all have lives. We all work. We're all adults. Some of us have kids. But at the end of the day, if you're going to be my friend, be my fucking friend. Don't sit here and leave me wondering if you actually want to talk to me or not. Because this is how I'm going to know the I'm tired I've been busy or stressed out and stuff like that. I can understand stress, but we all go through stress. I'm stressed out every daggum day. But I'm fixing to get a little real with y'all. If you are on social media doing clout chasing tweets, you're not that busy. If you are posting on Facebook numerous times in the day, you're not that tired. Or that busy. If I can message you after you put either of those, or even if you put something towards your Snapchat story, because I do use Snapchat not as much now because of this very thing that I'm talking about. If I can message you right after you post something anywhere on social media and you leave me on read and still don't say anything to me, three days later, four days later, a week later, then that'll be the last time you hear from me because I'm not going to waste my time on a person who is not willing to put forth the effort to be there as the friend that they claim that they are. And like I said, I implore all of you to do that. Get rid of all of those empty friendships. They're not doing nothing but wasting your time. And if you don't have any instances like that, cool. Kudos to you. But for those of you that do, I seriously recommend you think it over. Because I've already thought it over. I've already made the decision. It's like I've said numerous times, even on this channel, I know who supports me and who does not. That doesn't just go for on YouTube. I know who's there for me in general. I know who's there for me. I've been keeping close eyes on people that I've known for years and everything like that. People who say that they're going to be there and then they're not. I've been keeping close tabs. But it's not any of you. I already assure you this now. It's not any of you. It's people IRL. And I'm just not going to put time towards those kinds of people anymore. Because at the end of the day... If you were a friend, and if you were there, and if you wanted to talk to me, you would. It only takes five minutes, and let me tell you, nobody is ever away from their phone. Especially when they get messages for multiple days on end, see them, and say nothing. But that's the end of that rant. Now, we'll get into the deeper stuff. At the end of 2018, we almost lost the roof over our heads. Yeah, because I lost my job back in September of 2018. And I'm not going to get into any details of what I saw because it will trigger anybody that hears it. But it was bad. It was while I was on the job as a security officer. And what made me quit was the lack of support 
for my mental state from my supervisors. It literally made me quit on the spot. And I was close to possibly having to go to a mental facility. It was that bad. And then, you know, things just began to fall apart. Our vehicle got repoed. We ended up getting behind on the rent. We exhausted all of our options. But the last option we had came through. And it was such a weight lifted off of my shoulders. But I still felt so heavy. Like a mountain was still on me. Because I was in the mindset of, you know, I almost lost everything in Missouri. And this same thing is happening again. Why is it happening again? The 2010 decade has been full of struggles. Everything that I put in the video, my story, after my parents passed away, because my mom passed away in 2008, everything that happened after that happened in this decade. This decade has been nothing but stress, nothing but struggle. This world trying to bury me. But I am thankful that I'm still here. Because if we would have lost the roof over our head, I wouldn't be on this video right now. You wouldn't have seen any of the videos that you saw. You wouldn't have seen Doom. You wouldn't have seen any of it. Because I would not have been able to, you know, do anything. I wouldn't have had the room. I wouldn't have had the capabilities. And it would have been ages before we could have ended up in a better position to where I could. I would have practically vanished from YouTube for the wrong reasons, for bad reasons, for reasons I didn't want. And I think if I remember right, I updated people on our situation. I think there are still some of those videos left. When it comes to me and YouTube, I treat it like my life. I put everything out there. Simply because that's just how real I am because there are so many people out here who are just number chasing, clout chasing, who are fake as all hell. And that's not me. Y'all deserve way better than that. But we were able to keep the roof over our heads and we were able to get into a bigger place months later for cheaper rent. But we had to use a loaner car but this is why I believe 2020 might be the start of something new. Come tax season, we will have our own car again. We've already went to the place. We've already determined how much we're going to have to pay down, how much we're going to have to, you know, pay a month, and it will be doable. If we get a tax return like we did last year. But that's me being confident because there's no way we can't. More money was made than it was last year. And we still have the baby as well. So it looks like everything is starting to look up now. We just have to keep on pressing forward. And I appreciate every single one of you who has supported me through this year. And I hope that y'all will continue to support me in 2020 and the 20s to follow. I have met so many amazing people that there are too many to name. But I don't want to name names because every single one of my grizzly nights means as much to me as the next one. And if you don't know the whole concept of grizzly nights, let me explain that to you. After that close call with us almost losing the roof over our heads, I took a break. I took like a month to two month break 
It was something like that. I don't fully remember, but I, I know it was at least that much time. And when I came back, that is when I announced that my supporters will be known as my knights. And this is why. Because a kingdom, the Grizzly Kingdom, my channel, is nothing without a king. As in, the Grizzly King. You can't see it because of the microphone and I'm not going to move it, so I apologize. And a king is nothing without his knights. Way back in the day, knights were of the highest standard. You had to have royal blood to be a knight. So the way that I have looked at it is all of my supporters are royalty in my eyes. And that is why I gave y'all the name Grizzly Knights. And no, there's nothing about this swear and fealty and all of that stuff. No, I'm not about all that. You are a Grizzly Knight out of choice. Out of choice. Has nothing to do with how that stuff really is. It's just a gimmick. <laughs> but this past decade has a lot of memories in it. It has left a big hole in my heart and my soul. A hole that will never be refilled just because of how bad it is. But I hope to look forward to something better. And then there is this little gem right here. The Misfit Bear Baby. Who has grown so much. Especially since I've been on YouTube. Because I think the first time she was in a video with me was when she was about five months old in one of the first reaction videos I did. And she's been in quite a few other reaction videos as well. She's grown so much, she'll be two in January. And she's already started to act up. You know, them terrible twos. But I want to do more videos with her. And the best videos that I've seen are reaction videos because she'll sit there and she'll watch the video with me, which I want to do more reaction videos, you know, because the channel seems to respond well to them. I'm just not going to do reaction videos about everything because there are way more channels out there that do reaction videos about movies and, you know, gossip and all of that stuff. Me, I'm going to just be strictly gaming. Exactly. Just like how it was with, you know, Diablo. I reacted to the trailer. I reacted to the gameplay. And, you know, I've reacted to a few other games on the channel. Doom Eternal. Stuff like that. You know, upcoming game titles. Upcoming titles that I'm really looking forward to. Those two especially. And, you know, other things gaming related is what I want to do. Like, I started doing just anything and like I said the reception was amazing like the first reaction video I did had the highest amount of views on my channel at that time and that's when I kind of knew okay maybe I should do this and for a while I was kind of having them as a fallback because I didn't have any other videos made, which that's another thing I need to do, is get better at balancing my games. Because hence the reason why I'm still having to play uh, A Plague Tale Innocence, because it got wrapped in with Shadow Warrior 2. I mean, I'm to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to finish that game, but it's just dragging out so much. It's dragging out so much. It's dragging out so much. I win. 
I love this child so much. Uh. <laughs> she is uh. what also made the end of 2018 not so bad. Uh. You know, it's like I said on my little Father's Day video. I don't know who out there has children and doesn't want this. <laughs> Like, who doesn't want this? She's just all full of laughs and giggles. But you'll see more of her, though. I assure you of that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call it here. Let's do better in 2020. Let's make the 20s a better decade. Be good to each other, respect each other, be safe out there, be considerate, be nice, do all those things. In all of those things, there's one thing that I want you to make sure that you do. Never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.